art, skill, choreography, beauty, and music. All this is like another world, amazing and exciting. Kazakhstan, inside of classics. There are pieces of stage decorations created by famous Italian artists Franco Zeffirelli and Ezio Frigerio. I think that opera pieces require maximum of everything. It's very typical. These designs support the scenery. They ensure that they do not fall back. In opera or ballet productions, the viewer appreciates not only the mastery of the director or the acting, but also the design of the stage. Therefore, the scenery became an important part of the theatrical art. Appropriate design of a stage contributes to the disclosure of the overall design of the production. The character of the future performance depends on the imagination of the artists. His imagination helps viewers to plunge into the world of art and mentally move to the seashore or find himself in an ancient Egypt. The decoration is the most important detail. First, it should reveal the possibilities of the stage, be comfortable for the artists. Scenographers sometimes show their work, but it does not always help. Artists immerse themselves in a world. Stage decoration with various drawings began for the first time in ancient Greece and Rome. In the Middle Ages, scenery was created by such famous artists as Mantegna, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael. The first mobile scenery and mechanisms that allow the scene to rotate appeared only in the 16th and 17th centuries. Today's stage world obviously uses all practical, all possible technologies. Even Bazanov in his great book wrote that technical possibilities are often the starting point for the set designers and artists. That is, they change every year. design of modern productions, theater increasingly use 3D or 4D visualization. For example, in the play Kizhibiak, during the caravan movement, we observe snow and snowstorm. And when in the dream, Zhibiak sees her wedding, she sees trees that are blossoming around, and we see the fruits of ripe apples. This kind of animation sets make the play brighter and more expressive. We're we're trying to use a video projection today as much as possible because drawing a video projection is much easier than to produce heavy set design and etc. At the same time, we use the rear and frontal projections practically in all our performances. We have special two tapestries made seamless. They're very big. By the way, they're our biggest set design pieces because I called up various world theaters, talked with colleagues. They're the biggest because usually the dimensions are 22 meters by 12. They have a special silvery pollination. It gives it very good quality. Before the beginning of the next theatrical season, special emphasis is placed on new productions. Accordingly, the projects get specific director, set designer, designer and light artists who are responsible for it. Next, a sketch of the future design of the play is created. This is a very complex process, which requires a lot of time. I'll just give an original example of Ezio Frigerio works. If not six months, but within a year, he works only on a sketch of the play. This is a very time-consuming work. 
Ezio Frigerio is a well-known Italian stage designer. He took part in the creation of the sets and costumes of the famous performances of the major theaters of Milan, Paris, and Berlin, the author of the unique scenery of the theater Astana Opera. Under his leadership, the opera performances Abai and Madame Butterfly were created, as well as ballet productions La Baie Dare, Don Quixote, Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, and Back to Sarai Fountain. The design of the opera by helps viewers to immerse themselves in the days when the prominent Kazakh poet and educator lived. The performance reflects the period from Abai's life where he witnesses the sincere feelings of two young lovers. Travel to the world of Abai begins here with this gate, this decoration of the house where the Enlightener lived. With the help of the machine, the doors easily open and close. Inside the room, we see a library. All the books in it are decorated in a noble golden color. This once again emphasizes that every work of a philosopher is a real masterpiece. The total weight of the decoration made of fiberglass is 12 tons. It took about three months to create such a design from the time the sketch was developed. In addition, modern productions are increasingly resorting to the help of such strong and durable materials as stainless steel or fiberglass. They are very durable. Decorations for some of our performances we produce in the open air, and several times we had rain and a little snow. That's the climatic conditions do not harm the quality of our decoration. Two theatrical workshops are engaged in production of set design and props decorations. The basic design of any performance never changes. The existing decorations are only tinted and, if necessary, repaired. The work of stage designers and artists is very busy during the preparation of the production of a new play. We are working on those elements of the set design that we can do here at a fairly high level because those artists, the stage designers who saw the results of our work, they were very happy with it. Props of each performance are created by over 10 masters of the shop of props. The girls working here make different vases and decorate them with beautiful ornaments, and the male half of the workshop is engaged with recreating the armor and weapons of the batirs. At the moment, I'm engaged in the manufacture of batir armor for the play Kajibek. For reliability, we strengthen all the details with the help of small nails. This is the future helmet. I'm going to give it a shape. Modern technologies have presented us with a new material, Warbla. It keeps the shape well when heated. Its ergonomics makes it easier. When heated, it becomes flexible, like plasticine. But we need to work very carefully, otherwise the details will not stick to each other, and we will lose shape. An experienced master can do all this in half an hour, otherwise it takes one, one and a half hours to do this. More than once, masterpieces of directors and stage designers recognized throughout the world are presented on stage of Astana Opera. Among them is the work of the legendary Franco Zeffirelli. By the order of Astana Opera, the Italian director transferred from La Scala one of his best performances, the opera Aida. Scenery and costumes of Milan's La Scala are used on the stage of Astana Opera in play Tosca. In addition, the Capitol's theater has partners working on an individual order. Есть у нас партнёрство есть с Москвой. 
We have partnerships with Moscow. In Moscow, there are very good partners who have been engaged in theater decorations for many years. There are also partners in Italy. They are very advanced in terms of technology technology of handicraft. The Italian craftsmanship, training and skill is 400 years old, but despite that, they are very old and advanced at the same time, we must cooperate to learn how to adapt the technology so that we learn this great skill and teach it to our next generation. Decorations created by the hands of domestic and foreign craftsmen are stored in a special warehouse. Its area is 1,200 square meters. Now we have come to the warehouse where the set designs are stored. Here we store very expensive, very beautiful and fragile products. Each item received a great deal of investment, so a certain air temperature is maintained for their safety. There are set designers made of cloth and wood. Many of them are painted with special paints to maintain color. Specific temperature is also important. At the moment, it is 18 degrees in the warehouse. The temperature should always be moderate, and of course it should be dry, but not hot. Such storage conditions make it possible to exclude premature damage of the decorations. A couple of days before the production, all the elements of the theatrical scenery are taken out of the warehouse in turn. And at the stage, the assembly process is unfolding. Experts try to work as accurately as possible. Each set has its own mechanism of operation. For example, one column in the play La Bayadere weighs almost 1,600 kilograms. With the help of the machine, it requires only three people to move it. This is the gateway to the scenery of the play Bajan and Sara. They consist of three parts. This is the bottom part, there are wheels. Now, after the collection, we turn it over. Every detail is assembled in about 10-15 minutes. Bajan Sara is a decoration. These are the elements of the mountains of the play Birjan and Sara. We connect them with each other in order that the scenery does not fall. There is a safety belt. After the installation is complete, we remove it. Now details will not fall. The set design of some theatrical productions is stored separately in special containers. The theater troupe often tours, therefore the main condition when developing set design is to make sure that they are easy to transport. In addition, in order to ensure that during transportation the set designers won't get mixed up, there is a numbering system. Shanurak and other elements of the yurt of the production Burjan and Sara are made of special light metal. Having combined all the details, we collect the front doors and put everything on the lower support detail, which is assembled separately. This detail itself consists of three parts. It's on wheels and very convenient to use. We easily move it with the set designs in the vault. In dissembled form, all the details are stored in special bags. To facilitate the assembly of the yurt, every bag is signed during its parsing. For example, now we're building a yurt, which will be located on the right side of the stage. 
Сол оң жақ қаптардағы кигіз үйді біз түгі жиына assembled set design is stored in the side pockets of the scene. They are installed on the main stage only on the day of the performance. First of all, we hang light and soft details of the scenery. They are attached to the shanks, which consist of steel pipes, and with the help of a cable, we bring them up. If there are heavy decorations, which must also be hung, we also bring them up too, so that they do not interfere with our work. In the event that we are preparing for a ballet production, then the special floor cover intended for ballet is laid, so that the artists do not slip and do not hurt their legs. We put a special linoleum. But now we are preparing for an opera production, so we use this kind of coverage. When moving, the surroundings can damage the rock of the scene. Therefore, during the installation, we come and check everything here. If suddenly notice that it's torn, then we stitch it immediately. After the floor cover is completely ready, we install the most voluminous and heavy decor elements on the stage. After assembling all the elements, we give the stage to the directors in the finished form, because they have to rehearse. For this, we must fully prepare the stage. You can say that the stage is completely ready for the play. We have collected almost all main scenery. There was only a bed and a piano, but they belong to the prop department. And from the technical side, we finished the whole job. Everything is ready. Now let us clarify again. Daniar. Yes. Do we have the first part ready? Yes, we do. Well, great. As you can see, the stage is completely ready for today's performance. We checked everything again. It's interesting that set designers work not only behind the scenes of the stage, for example, in the production of Kizhibek during the arrival of Telegen in the village, they, dressed in the guise of artists, opened the gates of the palace. It is worth noting that the volume of said design for each performance is different. For example, to store the design of a single production, you may need 20 containers at once. Their weight differs. For example, the weight of the scenery of the opera Tosca is more than 20 tons. While decorating the stage, scenographers try not to overload it. In their work, they are increasingly resorting to minimalism. We decided to find out how rational this approach is. It seems to me that we use maximum of our possibilities in opera productions, but I guess you can say it with 100% confidence. Today, many experimental theaters which work in the avant-garde direction 
авангардық бағытта істейтін үлкен театрлар бар. Resort to both to maximalism and minimalism. Минимализмді де қолданат, максимализмді де қолданат. Consequently, the methods of minimalism and maximalism in the play very often overlap and complement each other. We have six columns and three arches in the Swan Lake production. Of course, this can be called rashes to minimalism, but there is a very rich choreography. Swan Lake is a masterpiece. There is an opinion that the roots of stage maximalism lie at the heart of the German theater. Their artists try to show every detail of the performance of the stage. Later, this method of decorating the stage became widely popular in Russia. Константин Сергеевич Станиславский, он к себе бастап, когда он до максимализма бой брал востает. Russian director Konstantin Stanislavsky also often resorted to the method of maximalism. When staging the play in the cherry orchard, he even conducted various experiments to achieve the smell of cherry on the scene. But in the end, he refused such maximalism. He came to the conclusion that, in fact, conventionality dictates the laws in the theater. During the performance, the attention of the spectators was riveted not only to the actor's play, but also to the unique set design, which before entering the stage were created by artists and assembled by numerous backstage workers. Here is the backdrop of the just past performance Karagos. First we remove the front layer and then the frame is made of metal. Dismantling of scenery begins immediately after the end of the production. After the end of the performance, all the stage designs are immediately sorted out, stacked by containers and shipped to the warehouse. Fantasy of artists and directors is boundless. They're always in creative search and always want to add something new to the production. In general, nothing is impossible. The possibilities of the modern stage are endless. The artist has no limits to his imagination, whereas I have, because I have to do it according to modern technology, according to the security system, according to the material from which we must produce. That is, we have our own limits, but we must try to work with the stage designers, the artists, still give them the opportunity to express their own ideas. So, for example, it became a tradition to show different animals on stage, and such performances as Kuzjebek, Abai, and Don Quixote included in the permanent repertoire of the theater, viewers can see small camels and horses. First of all, the animals we use in our production must be prepared. Preferable, they must be from circus. They tend to be more comfortable with music. Each item has its expiration date. However, neatly stored set piece without scratches and damages can decorate the performance for years. Everything depends on the quality of the decorators. When we accept the stage design of the performance on the balance of the theater, we store them for about eight years. If during this eight years the set designs are well preserved, then we can use them further. Each performance is a story from life. It's brought to life on the stage. Scenography helps a lot to create a realistic world played by actors. 
The success of any performance depends to a large extent on the decoration of the stage, costumes, and light. Numerous designs and multi tone decorations create the mood for the production, help viewers understand the main idea of the director's plan.